A transgender Minnesota teen is receiving medical treatment to complete her transition to female without her parents' permission. Now the teen's parents say the treatment is not legal but because she's not a legal emancipated minor. Waverly Mon Monroe reports on the controversy from St. Paul. I love him unconditionally, and I mean that unconditionally. Anne Marie Calgaro is a concerned mother. When her son was 15, he decided to transition into a female. According to Calgaro, that decision to transition genders is not what concerns her. She says St. Louis County and other agencies have disregarded her parental rights and started treating her now 17 year old child as emancipated without her consent. If he changes his mind in the future, these and not that he will, and that's not what this is even about. The suit claims that Park Nicolette Minneapolis Gender Services and Fairview provided the child with what the state calls non-emergency medical treatment for transgender services. Calgaro's lawyer, Eric Cardall, claims the school district and St. Louis County Public Health and Human Services have usurped Calgaro's parental rights. Anne Marie doesn't have any right to notice and to be heard in court. Minnesota Child Protection League President Michelle Lentz is in full support of Calgaro's taking her complaint to court. She says treating the child as an adult without a court order is a serious violation. They are financing and prescribing dangerous hormonal drugs and prescription narcotics to a minor without his mother's knowledge, involvement, or consent. Calgaro is concerned her child is moving too fast. Nobody you know, even at 20 years old, would go back and make the same decisions as they would at 16. You know, I mean, I can't imagine any of you in this room would go back and go, yeah, I was proud of that moment in my life. Calgaro claims in her lawsuit that she's not been given the right to refuse this unofficial emancipation. So what we need is a, a federal court decision saying that Anne Marie's federal due process rights have been violated because her parental rights are a fundamental uh, rights protected under the U.S. Constitution and she's entitled uh, to a hearing. Cardall says the situation interferes with Minnesota's strong family legal traditions and expressed concern after speaking to a medical professional that this happens regularly. I care so deeply for my son. I, I want to be involved in this process. The suit is being filed electronically and will most likely be heard in the St. Louis County Court. Both the clinic and the school district declined comment. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.